Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean E. And in today's video, we ask, what is the mean of a set of data? The mean, pretty important thing to be comfortable with, very important part of statistics, generally what you think about when you think about what the average of a set of data is. So first, I'm gonna write it out for you in generic terms. So let's say you have a set of data, and these are your data points. We'll call them n, so we've got n sub one, n sub two, your second data point, your third data point, and it goes on and on until you get to n sub k, where we'll say k is your final data point. So then the mean, very simply, the mean is just your first data point plus your second data point plus your third data point all the way up to adding your final data point. You add up all of your data points and then you divide by k. And we can see, let's say this was n sub 10, that would mean you've got 10 data points, that's your k value. So you are adding up all your data points divided by the total number of data points. So if we look at a quick example, let's say that we have these data points right here. We've got four, uh, let's say seven, three, eight, and let's say we have another four and a two, we'll put in a two there as well just to make sure everything works out nicely. So now all we have to do is add up all of our data points and they don't have to be in order of course because addition is commutative. So we've got four plus seven plus three plus eight plus four plus two and then this is going to be divided by our total number of data points which as we can see here is six. So then 4 plus 7 is 11, plus 3 is 14, plus 8 is 22, plus 4 is 26, plus 2 is 28. So we are left with 28 divided by 6. And so if we reduce this fraction, we get 14 divided by 3. And then that is our final answer, which in statistics we would usually write in decimal form. So we can write this as 4.6 repeating because that is equal to 4 and 2 thirds, which is 4 and 6 repeating. So that is our mean, 4.6 repeating. That's how you find it. Add up all your data points, divide by the total number of data points as we did here. Um, of course, sometimes you'll work with much larger sets of data, in which case using a scientific calculator um, that has some statistical capabilities is much easier and much quicker. But this is something you'll probably be asked to do as you go through education and in school. So I hope this video helped you understand what the mean is and how to find it. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. I'll see you next time. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear. Won't you please come to me? You live it up here. There's a light where I float that erases all